Alright, what's going on guys? So in this video here, I'm going to be reviewing the Arcus 360 Golf Sensor Simulator. So we're going to be basically talking about what we thought after comparing this um, device to different you know, sensors out there and after testing out whether we think it's worth purchasing or not. So what we're covering in this video here are the different features of the system, the design, the price, the pros and cons, also where the best places to buy. So if you just are looking for the best and cheapest place to pick up this unit, we will leave a link down below and that's the best and cheapest place that we could find this unit at the time of this video. Okay, so what is the Arcus 360? It's basically a system and it's gonna track every single shot on the course. It's gonna collect all the data about your round and then it's going to you know present it so you can basically go back to it and see um, a bunch of data, a bunch of information, um, you know, and pretty much um, a bunch of stuff about your game okay so it has a built-in gps so you can basically see the distances to like the green and the pin um different hazards all that kind of stuff which is pretty awesome as well and then it comes with um basically 13 sensors and then you basically screw those sensors into each of your club and then it pairs to your phone so you can see the data on your phone itself okay and it's going to show you how far you hit each shot um and it's become a really super important part of my game um, you know, I've never really had anything like this before, uh, but just, you know, it's it's not only great for like, you know, data and information, but it's also, it also makes it a lot more fun to, you know, have, after the round, you can go back and see, you know, exactly where you hit all your shots, like the distances, um, and it'll, it'll just give you, you know, more data so you can use the, the next time you go back, you can, you know, improve your game and, you know, have, have, a, have a better round and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, what does it actually track itself? So, it tracks like the percentage of greens hit, and where your misses are so you can easily see you know where your average miss was so you can then take that and go and improve that and try to you know work on your game i'm just going to show you the percentage of fairways hit and where your misses are so you can improve that on your part of your game as well it's going to show you distance of all your shots it's going to show you like how many one putts how many two putts how many three putts and it's also going to show you like sand saves and how many ups ups and downs you got per round and this is going to show you like your average drive distance and then also your longest drive distance okay and that's kind of a you know it's kind of a neat thing to know right so what is also track as well so it's also going to track and show you um all this data for each round and it's also going to give you an average over like the past 20 rounds as well so it's going to see you know you can go back right after a round and see all this information and it's also going to give you an average as well which is really really cool so it's basically going to give you like a handicap number for like um, it's going to give you a different number for your driving putting chipping approach and sand shots and then that's going to allow you to see like where your strengths and where your weaknesses are so then you can go back and you know improve that part of your game which is a really cool feature and then the app's going to show you like you know where you hit each shot on every single hole which you can go back to after the round and you know just go in and track that which is really really cool as well there's a it's just a great feature it just makes makes the game more interesting more fun and i'm just the the, the, the data you can use to improve your game was pretty cool as well now it's not the best for like tracking, um, you know, the distance of putts made during a round, but you I mean other than that, um, you know, it's it's a, it's a great thing to have just for you know everything else besides that. Okay, so let's talk about my first impressions after you know using this for the first time. So it's a lot smaller than the previous version, which is great. So the actual sensors that you use. So um, this is the second version of um, you know the Arcu system, and um, basically. It's, it's about half the size that the little sensors that you screw into your club, so it's half the size. So, um, you know, it's, it's a lot better. So basically, they screw into, um, they, they screw into your club really easily, and I didn't really notice um, them on there when I was playing. Um, I'm sure some people, you know, would would claim that you know the, the the added weight is is throwing off their game or just having it longer is going to throw off their game. But honestly, you you barely even notice they're on there, which was really cool as well. So. I didn't have any troubles pairing the system to my phone, so that was overall um, really easy. So overall, like, first impressions were really good. Um, I was definitely pleased with how easy it was to set up and um, you know install and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about the you know the the original version versus the new 360. So the new version has smaller sensors. We talked about this, so it's about half the size. The new version is more reliable out on the course, um, so you don't really have to worry about you know something going wrong like the previous version. So on the previous version, um, you pretty much have to check and make sure everything was working after like a, every couple holes. Um, oftentimes it wasn't very re reliable and you know something would go what something would happen and then you would have to like go back and like you know ma manually in input the information. But this one's definitely more reliable. You just have to you know attach it um, you know and pretty much you don't have to check it for the whole round. It's it's way more reliable, way way more consistent. So that was definitely a big improvement. 
and the new version has a way longer battery life and it's going to last you about two years on the battery on the previous one you'd have to replace um you know quite quite often actually but this this one does last about two years which is awesome as well so how did it perform so it seemed to be quite a bit more accurate than the old version which is awesome as well so we kind of talked about this it was recommended that you put your phone in your front pocket to get the best reading which really i wasn't a huge fan of to be honest um i don't really like having my phone in my front pocket um it's fine in the back but you know but before this i was had my phone in my bag um but actually if you you know if you have your phone in your bag it's not going to work if you have your phone in your back pocket it's not going to always give you the correct reading so you pretty much have to have it in your front pocket Obviously, you know, if you play a few rounds like this, it's it's not going to be a big deal. You're going to get used to it. But that was just one thing that I wasn't really a huge fan of. I'm not really sure if this can be improved or whatever, but um, obviously it has to be as close as possible. Um, but that was definitely, you know, one thing I wasn't a huge fan of. But the GPS feature, it was more accurate than I thought it would be. I'm just seeing, like, you know, you could basically select any point on the course and it's going to tell you how far away it is. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to be like, you know, super, super accurate, like a, like a range finder or GPS was, but, you know, actually comparing it to other like range finders and GPS, it was, you know, really, really accurate. And I was definitely surprised with that. So is it easy to use? Um, the short answer is going to be yes. Um, it does require very little technical knowledge, but probably wouldn't be the best if you've like never used a computer before. If that's you, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but you know, most people have used, you know, a computer and definitely after, you, you know, you get the hang of it after the first couple times, it's, you know, really, really easy to use. Um, the most difficult thing would be like editing shots if something doesn't track right, but after you do it a few times, it's, it's a breeze. It's, you know, nothing to worry about. So is it worth upgrading? So if you have, if you have the first version, is it worth upgrading to the new 360? So if you are looking for like new features, it probably wouldn't be worth your you're well upgrading from the old version because it doesn't really have any new features to it per se but if you want like a more reliable a more accurate and a longer battery life version i'd say you know yeah it, it would be worth it so you know that alone was enough for me to upgrade so um you know i'm personally upgraded myself and i'm definitely glad i did so let's talk about some pros so it's a great system that gives you all the data you could need on the course to help not only make it more fun but also improve your game and it gets rid of having like a rangefinder or GPS out there because it actually does give you a lot of the same information, like, you know, distances to the green, different hazards, all that kind of stuff. So there really is no need for a rangefinder or GPS if you have these. And it has a long battery life as well, which is really, really, really nice on it. So how about some cons? So I wasn't a huge fan of having my phone in my front pocket. We kind of talked about this. Obviously, after you, you know, have a few rounds with it in there, you kind of, you kind of forget about it, don't really notice it. But, um, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of that. That was just one thing to note. Um, you have to basically send in the batteries after two years to get a new one, which it can be a bit of a hassle. You can't, you can't, I mean, at the, at the time of this video, you can't like, go to the store and buy new batteries for it. You actually have to send it in and then they'll, they'll, they'll give you new ones, which, you know, it's, it's a bit of a hassle, but obviously it's not, not a huge deal or anything like that. And at the time of this video, apparently the Android app isn't ready yet either. Um, I, I, I have an iPhone, so the app was working fine, but I heard um, Android users were having a bit of a troubles with this. So I'm sure, you know, at, at the time of this video or, you know, going in the future, they'll probably have it figured out. But um, that was just one thing to know and make sure before you actually pick it up if you do have an Android device. So taking into account all the pros, all the cons, is it worth it? So in my opinion, this short answer would be yes. Even though it's not perfect, um, it's been something that's you know really really helped my game, and I couldn't really imagine now playing around another round without it. Um, I would never you know if something happened to it, I would definitely go and purchase a new one. Um, you know if 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 they come up with a new a next model, I would definitely be picking that up as well. Um, so I just couldn't imagine playing another round without it. So I definitely did like it. So the cheapest place I could find this product is in the link down in the description down below. So at the time of this video. That was the best and cheapest place we could find this product. So you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want to do so. And we'll I'll throw together a bonus for you as well. So if you decide to purchase this unit, I'll give you a free copy of the Consistency Report ebook. It's basically going to show you like seven shortcuts you can use to drastically improve your ball striking and scores overnight. So these are just seven things that I learned from either, you know, taking lessons or, you know, studying professionals that applied that I applied to my game and definitely helped. I definitely think they can help you as well. So simply, you know, purchase. Um, send me an email with a screenshot of your receipt. Um, I'll leave that information down below. And I'll give you a free copy. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down below and we will see you in the next video.